the Latinos in the United States report being uh, against legal access to abortion at higher rates than other Americans, yet also have abortions at higher rates than other Americans. How do you understand that? Um, I think that that is, is one of those paradoxes that, in fact, Scripture addresses, that, 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 that sometimes um, we can be very conscious of the sin, but yet, uh, yet fall to it, uh, even, even more so um, as, as we're conscious of it. Um, and, 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 and that does create a situation of shame, which, which breeds this inability to, to talk about it. And the only way to overcome it is to talk about it. Uh, what I would disagree with, with, with some of the people is, is the idea that talking about it means legitimizing the choices that, that, that people make. Um, in fact, if, if the church wants to really get its teaching through um, of the beauty of marriage and, and, and the beauty of human life, of children, uh, um, then it, it, it needs to be able to talk to people more profoundly um, with the theology that, in fact, it, it has. John Paul II's theology of the body and the way in which our bodies are not things that we manipulate. They are, in fact, ourselves. And we give ourselves to other people when we have sex with them. And, and, and become one flesh with them. And, and this is something really holy and special. And, um, and, and likewise, human life is, is never a means to another end. But this is something that, that, that you can't get through unless, um, unless you talk about it and, and unless you live it. Well, that disproportionality, that tendency of Latinas to have abortions more than other American women, is there an economic dimension to that that we have to keep in mind because they also tend to face unemployment, face uh, low wages, uh, face a necessity for their wages in the family budget, uh, live in poverty at a higher level? Uh, rather than correcting for religion, do we have to also keep the economic dimension in mind? I completely agree with your statement, Ray. I think that uh, many Latino women are facing or are juggling uh, two, uh, in, some t in some cases, paradoxical uh, choices. On the one hand, their conviction, and on the other hand, the realities uh, dictated by uh, the economic situation that you described, and also by the notion of shame of being a single mother. Uh, this is something that is very powerful among Hispanic families, Latino families, and a lot of times, uh, you know, they go one way or the other, depending on how they juggle on those changes. Again, the conviction on the one hand, the economic realities of poverty, deprivation on the other, and also the, the question of family shame and the loss of social status in the community. I'm still wrestling with this like other Americans, not like other Americans thing. If you live in a state that uh, the, the common culture very strongly discourages abortion, and you're a Latina, are you likely to make a decision that's different from if you live in California or New York where the uh, legal, uh, the weight of the legal hand on that option is, is much lighter and the option is much more available? I, I think that we need to bring it down from the state level to the community level. Uh, I, I think the question of legality is very important, but in my personal opinion, it's also very important to look at the neighborhoods, the community, the social ties that, that situate uh, and contextualize this decision among Latinas. Well, are you more likely to um, decide against abortion if you live in what is both very economically depressed but also very conservative communities like Harlingen, Texas, uh, versus Los Angeles, where you have a multi-layered, very stratified uh, Hispanic community that mixes both new arrivals and people who have been in the country a long time. I personally think that the um, context matters, as you're suggesting here, and the, the small, tight communities, as you're talking about, have a, a, a greater sense of support. Um, the negative thing, there's a positive thing for shame, I think. You know, and so that you, your behavior has a consequence in the community. Whereas in a big city uh, where it is easier to get to have an abortion, you, you don't have the consequences in front of you as much. And especially if you're a migrant of any sort, you're, you're that grandmother, the abuela back at home, you know, is not in front of you. You know, so, and, you know, I, it's a kind of a thing that I, 
I've thought about a lot in terms of um, what happens when the taboo is over, you can't get it back. So like sex outside of marriage, that, that taboo is gone. And Latin America, if you look at the countries in Latin America, Mexico in particular has high rates of unwed pregnancy and every single Latin country is going through this process. So it's not just an American phenomenon here. Whereas, I mean, the abortion issue, it's not as easy to get abortion in other countries in Latin America. But I think if they had that legal ability, they would be doing it too. If you're in a city, economic, uh, economic situation, as one of the women said there, you know, you know, I didn't want the burden of ruin this ruining my life, you know. And like education then becomes uh, foreclosed, you know, and, and maybe getting a good partner might be foreclosed. You're, you have a baby, and so who's going to want to marry you? Those are the kinds of things that then, you know, you end up with, with if you have this, the child outside of, you know, outside of marriage. Alan